Hello everybody, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I'm back today with a half Tila herringbone vertical stripe necklace. I've had a lot of you guys really enjoying the herringbone bracelet tutorial, so I wanted to come back upon special requests by several of you guys with a necklace that you can create with the half Tila's as well which will coordinate nicely with the bracelets. Now you can see this is a slimmer stripe. We're using two different colors and just going to alternate these today. But of course you can choose your own take on it by doing more than two colors, by doing just two stripes horizontally instead of vertically where one stripe is in the center ring and one stripe is on the outer ring. Lots of variations on this. So hopefully it will be a jumping off point for you. I'll be leaving a full materials list right down below the video, as well as links to where you can find all of these products. In general, you can see I'll be using two different colors of half tealas today, as well as some 15-0 and 11-0 seed beads, a size 10 beading needle with six pound fire line beading thread, and of course my scissors, my jewelry pliers, and whatever you want to use to finish up your necklace. I'll be using two wire guards, two jump rings, and also a lobster clasp. So go ahead and collect your materials, thread your beading needle with the amount that I indicate below, and we will go ahead and jump into this half teal and necklace tutorial. All right guys, so I actually have a sample piece of thread to work with because I'm gonna get this started with you and it is the same exact sequence from start to finish. You're just gonna keep repeating the same thing that we do all the way until you have the exact length of the necklace that you would like, and it actually works up pretty quick. All right, to get started, we're gonna pick up one of our 11-0 seed beads, then a half tila, and then three of our 15-0s. So you should have this sequence on your needle, and you can bring this down, making sure you leave I would say a six to eight inch tail because that way you'll have enough to add a wire guard and finish off your piece on this side, but we don't need to worry about that yet. So with your needle, you wanna swing back through the second hole of the half tila, and that pops these three 15 O's right down below it and the 11 O is sitting on top. Now pick up a 15 O and pick up the same color half tila this time go through the 11-0 and pull that just like so. And now I'm gonna pick up two more 11-0s and go down this half tila through that next hole. Now you can see we've got three 11-0s next to each other on this portion and we're coming out of the half tila and this time we want to pick up an 11-0 and the other color of our half tila. So you have two beads on your needle and you want to go down through that 15-0 that's sitting by itself and pull. And now this is what you should have. We're coming out of that 15-0 and we want to complete the little section of three. We're always going to have three that are sitting next to each other alongside each of these half tealas. So we need to pick up two more 15-0s and then head down through that open hole of the half tila that we're currently coming out of. And that's what we have. And we need to add another white half tila or that same color. I'm gonna pick up a 15-0 and a white, and then go through the 11-0 that's sitting by itself and pull. Now that we're coming out of the 11-0, we need to finish that group of three. Let's pick up two more 11-0s, head down the open hole of the half tila that you're currently coming out of. And there you have it. There's two rows of our two colors complete. If you're using more than two colors, you can go ahead and switch to your next color at this point, or just keep repeating the same pattern. So we're gonna go back to our first color. And one way that I remember which bead I need to pick up next in the sequence is if I'm coming out of a group of 11 OC beads, then I need to pick up an 11 O next. So I'm coming out of these three 11 O's and the teal, of course, pick up a 11 O and the black, and I'm gonna go through this 15-0 down here. 
And now I need to pick up two 15 O's to complete that group of three. Go up through the open hole of that half tila. And we're ready to add another black tila bead. And remember, you pick up the same size bead as the one you are currently exiting. We're coming out of 15 O's this time. So we'll pick up a 15 O and a black half tila and go through the 11 O just like that. So you just keep repeating these steps over and over again. The side with the smaller 15 O seed beads, that's gonna be the side that sits closer to the base of the neck because that is going to be slightly smaller and then is going to form a nice gentle curve that conforms really well around your neck. I like to continue working this with the larger 11 O's on the bottom. As the piece starts to curve a little bit, it's just a little bit more comfortable for me. We'll do a couple more together. So two more 11 O's to complete that set of three. We're coming out of 11 O's, so I know I need to pick up one of those and then move over to my next color. Go up through the 15 O. Pull tight. Pick up two 15 O's to complete that group of three. And keep pulling this tight as you go. And then since we're coming out of 15 O's, I'm gonna pick up one of those and our second white for that row and go through the 11 O and pull. So just keep doing this until you have the length that you desire for your necklace, not including the clasp and jump rings and all that, of course. And I will show you how I attach the findings to complete this piece. So keep going, have fun, and I'll meet you back. All right, everyone, welcome back. So you can see that I have my necklace the length that I want it. And I actually already went ahead and sewed in the tail thread on this side and added a wire guard. But I've left this side open so that we can do this one together. I've got a few seed beads left a wire guard, two jump rings, and my clasp, and a little bit of thread still left on my needle. So once we get to the end of this side in particular, what I wanna do is pick up two more 15-0 seed beads and just go through that 15-0 and half tila that are right there just to kind of complete the look of having three seed beads like we do on either side. And now I'm done with the 15 O's. What I wanna do is I want to make my way back out through these 11 O's on this right-hand side. So I'm just gonna follow my thread path. I'm actually gonna just go straight through that tila because this thread is white, it will match, and nobody's gonna see that. And then I am going to go up and out these three 11 O's that are on this side, which will position me to be able to add my wire guard here. So before we pick up the wire guard though, I wanna pick up three 11 O's and the wire guard, and then go down the other side of the wire guard. And now I wanna pick up three more 11 O's. And now I'm gonna go straight through these three 15 O's and I'll go through that tila that we get to as well. And when we pull that, you can see that brings the wire guard up to our piece. It just brings everything together. There is more than one way that you could do that. That is just one example. And the other side will be very similar. So just do something very similar to that. It will be a little bit different just because of the way the beads are laid out, but just try to match those ends up as best you can with a very similar number of beads, and then weave your tail thread back in, going through some of the beads, making a half hitch knot, going through a few more beads, and so on and so forth, until you are comfortable with the security of your piece and you've made, say, at least three knots. Then you can clip off your thread And then we can attach the jump rings and our clasp of choice to this necklace.
So there you go, guys, the half Tila slim herringbone vertical stripe necklace to go with your half Tila herringbone bracelets that you've been having fun making. Of course, you could make this design in a solid color or you could do a stripe of one color on the top and a stripe on the bottom of a different color. You can have a lot of fun with your color choices. And once again, I will leave a full materials list and links to everything that I'm using today right down below the video. So definitely check that out. Feel free to leave me a comment. I love to hear from you and I hope this tutorial was easy and fun for you to follow. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate you giving it a big thumbs up. And if you'd subscribe while you're there, that would mean so much to me because I'd love to have you back for future videos just like this one. You can also check out all of my social media handles listed down below and follow along with me there and have a visit at my website at orchidandopal.com. Until next time, I hope you guys are having a fantastic rest of your day and doing your best to try to stay healthy, safe, and creative. And as always, happy beating.